Hello everyone, MuseScript here, and I am back with another commentary. Today I'm going to be doing the commentary for episode 3 of The Heart Shell Hope. And yeah, this episode I really enjoyed doing. The art was really spaced out this time because I was starting my composition course at uni, and so I needed to get ahead and doing stuff like that. And this episode did have a couple of problems along the way, I guess I'd outline them later on. But yeah. <clears throat> I just, I only have like a little minor cold and we've like had a couple of thunderstorms over here so if you hear any wild weather, which hopefully you won't because this this microphone is pretty good. That is probably why. Anyways. Another thing I wanted to mention, if you haven't checked it out already, my YouTube channel art has been updated. It um it was drawn by my friend Dolphin Wave X. And yeah, it was like done by request. And yeah, she has a similar thing on her channel as well, so that's that's really cool. Just thought I'd mention that. And enough from me. Without further ado, I am going to start the episode in three, two, one, and play. Let's turn it down a bit. Applejack, you confuse me sometimes. You know, I still like this theme. This theme. One of my favorite themes. It? And it's like, you know in a Dorian mode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, only music geeks will know what I'm talking about, so it's okay. It's a bit of a minor mode in a Dorian mode. I just didn't want to lose him. Me and Applejack are heading over to the rock <laughs> Pinkie Pie is so ridiculous in this. And I also liked how I edited the... Previously on the hot shelf for this. Yeah, like that. Of all the ponies in and then we have the first time right Dolphin now. Wave X's art is appearing in a previously thing. Just, just leave me alone. But of course her art Wait. is different this now. Is and I'm yeah, I'm friend. actually really impressed with the art that she has done for this episode. And a couple of other things that she has done. The style that she has now is a bit of a vector art and it's really chibi and cute and adorable. I also saw it in her April Fool's video, which she did as a comeback to mine, and I actually fell for it because it, <laughs> it was the 2nd of April by the time I watched it, and I really shouldn't have fell for it, but different time zones have that karma on me. <laughs> but yeah, you'll be seeing a bit of her art. And yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be cool. And the trailer for this episode is also really cool. I think it was the best trailer I kind of put out. It was, it was my favorite anyway. I don't want to be unbiased or anything to other people's opinions. But yeah, it just was really epic, I guess. But yeah. This episode does have some major plot points. Uh, yeah. So if you haven't seen the episode already, go watch the episode. And here we have it. it was absolutely darling of this is the first bit of art that I did. And I think it was back in February oh, after I finished episode two art and I was a bit bored. But of course, because I wasn't the only artist doing it, I needed to wait until episode 2 aired so I can, you know, plan out the... Like a script for artists so they know what scene they'd have to do. And... Oh, let me turn that down a bit. And as I was, as I was gonna say before, I turned the volume down. 
the uh, oh, the amount of scenes oh, in Christ. episode two were about fifteen. It was me. only mainly because also, first time I was letting other artists come on board, and I was just a bit worried that I w I didn't really want to give them a heavy workload. But this episode is back to ten scenes, like episode one was. Oh yeah, that picture was in the trailer, but it was altered a bit, only the background was altered. And that effect was done on Coral, and it's uh, pretty much a layering effect. Same thing I did for the original song Lost, which was in episode 1. And the pets. That was the first time drawing all of them. But the easiest one I can How do is Angel, who just has this. such a basic well, design, whilst all the other pets were a bit harder to draw. Um, it took me a couple of tries darling, to draw Gummy and Angel. No, not Angel, Opal. Helped you make the food? Well, yes, but you don't have to worry. <laughs> they all remembered to clean themselves first. I made sure of that. But how do you think I did? Whatever do you mean? I mean, I followed some tips from Pinkie Pie. I don't really have that much to say here. And I'm still a bit embarrassed about what happened last commentary, where I didn't really have anything to say. But yeah, this time I actually have way more stuff to talk about, so it will be more of a commentary. Oh yeah, Angel and Opal are having a, a fight. And it was... Sorry, Very strange, trying to find sound effects. Just been confession. <laughs> um, sound effects are pretty much my least favorite thing to do in an audio drama. I would usually prefer to do art than sound effects, and I usually save them until last, but whatever. Who's ready for some oh, karaoke? Oh god. I spelled karaoke wrong there. I don't know why, I just had a habit of spelling karaoke with an E instead of an O. I think I was thinking about other words that would have an A and then an E afterwards. Yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, and then the idea for this was inspired by the Christmas CD. And they were pretty much singing the same songs as the Christmas CD. We have Twilight Sparkle singing We Wish You a Merry Christmas or Happy Housewarming in this case. And Rarity singing Deck the Halls and Fluttershy singing Silent Night. I do have a talent for getting around tongue twisters and fast passages. And that's a reference to the fourth episode of season one, which is Applebox season, where she had this tongue twister which had a lot of words starting with the same letter. Unfortunately, I don't think I'd even be able to do it. Oh yeah, this was hilarious. Rarity gets carried away and using her magic covers the other two mares and streamers. My apologies. I guess it's my turn now. I love singing as Fluttershy. It's just yeah. Fluttershy is the easiest one I can sing with. I mean I like singing as Pinkie Pie as well, but usually I'm scared of breaking the mic. So my personal favorite to sing in is Fluttershy, which is a good thing because I'll be doing a lot, probably, I don't know how much singing I'm going to be doing in Opera Phantom Discord, but I might be doing a bit of singing and that's going to be very exciting, I'm looking forward to that. And then we have Dolphin Wave X's What's art. Wrong, this is where it comes in. We you see what I mean? This, this art style is really cute, to, party, to my opinion. And too, I also helped with a couple of things. Oh, yeah. She only sent me a couple of vectors stupid. at first, so Can then I took the liberty it. of I adding backgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> Her spike is so cute. <gasps> But she only yeah, sent me about three pictures, but that's fine, because I wasn't really pressuring any of my artists to do any more than what they were comfortable with. And yeah, she also had another scene, but I guess she was too busy to complete that, so I did some backups for it. You'll see what I mean at the end of the episode, it's, it's in, scene, it's in the last scene. Two! Spike, are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, I guess I've just caught a cold trying to search for you. Well, 
That's Fluttershy. She drenched the fire. Okay, she got rid of the fire. And Spike set the table on fire by sneezing. Oh yeah. And the track before when they were seeing karaoke was just simply called karaoke. And it was Oz 25. And this soundtrack is called Trouble. Originally, this came from... Uh, well, an early thing, I don't know why, but I was doing an early production of Bittersweet, and it was pretty much the first time that I was voicing the main six, and it was a really old thing, it was like two years ago, and, and it was from when Pinkie Pie was taking a last binge or something, and it's kind of altered from that, but still. Anyway, we're back to my art. And I really liked how far the shading had come since episode one. Oh yeah, I love this picture. They're just staring him down. And I like the line that Twilight Sparkle said as well. It was like, Spike, was it all just a false alarm? Or something like that kind of inspired by the stern voice that she had in Owl's World that ends well back in season one. Look, Fluttershy, I, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. And I'm also glad that Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy were able to, to make amends in the end. It just shows how much it's their friendship has grown. So just helping each other through all the hardships and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Ah, I love that picture! That picture is one of my favorites. <laughs> Yeah, she does. Oh yeah, these. These are lovely. So you notice the couple of extra buds. And she was using the plural force of um, the flowers, so a couple of buds had grown out. And I kind of forgot that, you know, since I only drew one flower, I forgot that there were more flowers. And Rarity had been given gems, if you didn't pick up all that. And the track playing in the background is Half Swarming Eve, which played in episode 2, but you actually now hear its entirety. Actually, a little bit extended in this case. <laughs> Rainbow Dash's eyes. Yeah, she gets exhibition tickets for the Wonderbolts. Keeping in mind that this is set in the season 5 universe, and she hasn't become a Wonderbolt yet. She is still a reserve. So yeah, it explains that. It's like a parallel universe. Also means that Starlight Glimmer was never reformed or anything. Oh yeah, this track playing in the background is called Creeper. And I guess it's one of the creepy osts that I have. I think what makes it is probably the music box playing minor thirds from each other. Oh yeah, this is one of the pictures I drew from the trailer. I decided not to alter it because reasons, but it's old, it's like three months old. Yeah, very mysterious. Oh yes! One of my subscribers commented on how this was her favorite scene. Raindrop her name was, and yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to have a bit of comic relief here, and the blush that I did on Rainbow Dash was hilarious. And now we have an argument between Rainbow Dash and Rarity. <laughs> but it is totally a Rarity thing to say. She would totally be the one who'd be like, who is your first crush? Or something. It's a watch. Again, those two images were also in the trailer back in December. Uh, Twy? Are you okay? Yes, I am. And the two presents in the background, the orange, I mean the red one is for Applejack and the grey one with blue ribbons is for Pinkie Pie. Sure, Rainbow has needed a new watch for a while after always drawing one on her wrist. 
And that was a that was a reference to Party of One when Rainbow Dash drew a watch on her wrist and she was like, Oh look at the time, I better be going. I mean we better be going. If you think it might be dangerous, fine. Do your egghead stuff on it. I like how Rainbow Dash still calls Twilight an egghead even when she's an alicorn. And now it's about some time so, later. Is the watch enchanted like you thought it was? <sighs> no. I guess I was wrong. I, I really liked the lighting effects that I did forces, here. And there wasn't any. It's just an ordinary watch. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Twine. That expression on so Rainbow Dash about. is adorable. And Twilight watch. just looks you so annoyed right now. <laughs> Can't go without him. Yeah, no, there's that. You're still down, and attending a house full of critters is not gonna help, is it? I'm sorry, you guys. Oh yeah, this picture I really you're liked. Having, the best time of your having life, a depth of field and lots having of lots of good I'm shades like and stuff. To be a happy time for every and this is a track that we haven't heard in a while. This is warming, and we first heard it in episode one when Rainbow Dash collects some firewood and just lies. In it's front of her fire. The start of winter. It's going to take me more than that to get me to properly smile again. And I then I realized how depressing that sounded. So see him again. But then again, this is a parallel universe where things are a bit more sad than usual. But whatever. See ya. And then this is a new track playing in the background. Another one of my this favorites. Is it's is a, it's a theme, and the Ost is just called the Watch. Oh yeah, and I guess because I'm Australian, there might be a little error with the Watch because I know that America they call autumn fall, but in Australia we call autumn autumn, so that's why it's like that. So. Whatever. Just follow the instructions below it and you get what you truly desire. Makes sense Step in this one, case. Lay this watch where your tortoise lies. Step two. Say that you wish and for then to come back. the melody really of the watch originally came from a Celtic itself. thing I composed. You're joking, right? uh, but then I thought <laughs> it would be much You're suited as this watch can bring as another theme well, that sounded a bit creepy. It. I'm and that's another picture that, that I did lie. in the trailer, and it looked really old. Oh yeah, and that effect that I have on the watch's voice is a cool thing that I can do on Audacity. It's it's actually three steps. First, I reverse her lines, then I reverb her lines, then I reverse her lines back, and that's how you get that effect. It's really cool. But it would have to wait until the morning. It's Quite dark. Fine, do what you must. And then this scene is probably my favorite scene of this episode, and you'll find out why. Well, I guess you were wrong. I'll just have to look wait at it. To see. You have the slow changing lights. Whoa! And the really cool sound effects in the Whoa! background. What's going on? And then it looks like it explodes. And then there's a hole where Tank used to hibernate, Tank? but now it's it's where open. Where are you? Tank? And these pictures were also in the trailer. Tank! Back in December. I'm so glad and the you're track back. playing is called Hope. I thought I would really have it was to wait too actually long inspired until a bit by Philip Glass. But you'd only be able to hear that when you hear the full track, because that was cut it's down a bit. Now, we have the fourth it, original has, song in the series, Spend Some Quality Time. And this is also the third original song sung by Rainbow Dash. And the vocals sound really weird here, because I did a lot of takes on this song. And um, the original one had too much distortion. 
and yeah. And also, the instrumentation is different as well. The original one had a bit of a different drum beat and didn't have as much strings, etc. And it's also supposed to be like a happy reprise of I'll Fly. Like, Lost was supposed to be a sad reprise of I'll Fly. And then referencing those lyrics would actually indicate that her wish has come true. And then that picture before was in the trailer, but that's the only thing I showcased when I was previewing the song. Because I didn't want that many spoilers. I mean, there were pictures of when Rainbow Dash and Tank were together and he was out of hibernation, but then that could also be signified that that would be in her imagination. Didn't necessarily have to be real, did it? And then we have a random OC that only appears for a couple of seconds, but who cares? And then that, then that helmet was from Thanks for the Memories as well, when she was fantasizing. So her wings looked really cute in that scene. And then these couple of pictures I really liked, mainly because I really like the shading here. And she's carrying Tank and her sled uh, in her hooves. Yeah, that's where it changes, that she's never going to say goodbye to Tank. And yeah, she's very happy about that. And then it's zooming up to like a point of view shot with Tank happily looking at Rainbow Dash. And I forgot a couple of wrinkles I forgot to add, and it just made him look younger again. That's one of the same mistakes I did in episode one when I was first drawing Tank. Actually, it's shown in here. Whatever. And then the main theme plays, and it cuts to Rarity and Twilight. Snowfall is relevant to your research. Oh, but it is. And so now it I've developed Twilight and Rarity's subplot. But the majority of the time it's focused on Twilight in this case. She's very curious about the watch. Well, they both are anyway. But she's also checking the effects of Snowfall seeing if there were any supernatural things that happened when the snowball explosion appeared at about a month before. Oh yeah, this scene was a nightmare to edit in Coral. Actually, this whole episode was a nightmare to edit in Coral, but this scene specifically, there were a lot of black frames that I couldn't get rid of. I tried to get rid of them in Windows Movie Maker, but some of them I couldn't remove. And then they were really annoying. Alright, darling. Besides, if Rainbow was in danger, she would be able to handle it. She is. And then this track is called Lost One. It played in episode two. She's fighting a battle in her mind that she might not win. Don't say that, darling. You know how much Rainbow loves to win things, especially battles. She does. I really love the irony in that. Uh, what's <laughs> Rainbow Dash doing out here? Looks like you've got your wish, darling. That's odd, though. When you last saw but the good thing is, I won't be editing episode so? four in Coral. I'll be editing episode four in Windows Movie Maker instead. Well, she did get presents from us, remember? She was happy. Before. And I was a bit <laughs> unsure of Twilight's reasoning here. And I was trying to find some point in her argument that would actually make sense. Oh, that was a really long black frame. I am so sorry! As I said before, it's not gonna happen in episode 4. And now her subplot has been developed. 
and now we have the second part of spend some quality time. And then we have a couple of montage pictures, like that's from episode one of the Heart Shell. And then this is April, Daring Do, May, A Canterlot Wedding, June, Princess Twilight Sparkle, July, August, September, October, and November, when she's in the middle of singing I'll Fly. But if you check my DeviantArt and find those pictures, I'll actually explain them in more detail and when they were set, etc. And then this picture was developed from the poster, which I did before I started episode 3 art. And then, get ready for this long note. Then we are back to Fluttershy. Haven't seen her in a while. I win. <laughs> She's like covered three mares in snow in the same run. What are you doing out here? Just letting really love this shedding. Shedding? Shading. Then this track is called it. Danger. Is it also has the melody Jake from previously on the heart so shell. I know, but what made a difference was this watch I got for heart swarming. Like, and this is like the reflection imagine. of the watch. I'm just so happy to have my pet tortoise again. I'm not too sure about this rainbow. Hibernating is healthy for him. What you're doing could hurt him biologically. Nah, he that is true. Fine. Don't worry about him. Whatever the watch did, I think it covered the health consequences too. See ya! And then, I like this picture with the shading. If that watch did really bring back Tink, I just hope nothing bad happened to me. And then this scene was done in the last minute. It was originally supposed to be drawn by Dolphin Webex, but then I guess she was a bit busy, so then I did some backups. So then I did the pictures instead. They ended up making the final cut. And it was like a day before I would air the episode, and I was a bit more rushed than last episode. Why don't I sing you the lullaby? I haven't sung it to you since I discovered Daring Do, but this might be a good opportunity. Nowadays, the artists will probably do one scene for themselves, and then I usually do the rest. Oh, I really love the picture that I drew here. It's really adorable. And I'm also better at drawing her bed as well. Weather starts to get too cold now. I will never leave you alone. That version of Little Tanky was sung when I wasn't even listening to the instrumental, so it sounded a bit off, but whatever. And I wonder whose magic that could be. You'll have to find in the next episode. Mwahahaha. I am not evil, don't worry. <laughs> So yeah, that was episode 3. And I actually spelled karaoke right in the credits, which is nice. <laughs> and spend some quality time is gonna get stuck in my head. And we'll always stay together. Yeah, you get the picture. Um, yeah. And I will have a couple of things to mention after the episode finishes too, so, yeah. Right, so, that was... Episode 3, as I mentioned before, it was really spaced out because of uni, etc. 
and I'm glad that now I didn't mention this before that I'm now in my term one break so I'm gonna be entering the holidays and tomorrow I am going to be going to Port Campbell which is like this beach place in Victoria Australia for the holidays and I don't know when I'm going to have a good opportunity to record my voice again. Uh, I mean, like, tomorrow. I mean, I still have perfect opportunities to record right now. But, yeah. And, uh, yeah. The next episode will be episode four. That's really exciting because that episode will be airing on the second anniversary of Tanks for the Memories. And just like that, some rain decides to fall down on the roof. And yeah, a trailer for episode 4 will be coming soon. Don't worry, it is the real trailer. Not an April Fool's trailer like I did last week. Although I'm assuming that was quite funny. And done at the very last minute, also very impressive. And let's see, other things I'm looking forward to are... Season 7 of MLP is coming out next week. I am very hyped for the episodes. I'll be getting four episodes in April. And then also four in May. And I'm like, ah! Won't the 15th of April come any quicker? Well, it'd be the 16th of April by the time I get it, because time zones. And let's see. Another thing that I'm also really hyped about that is MLP related is the movie. I mean, I watched the teaser trailer for it and that just got me super hyped for it. And fun fact, the movie will be airing in early October, so it's the 6th of October, 7th of October where I would be, and it's actually going to be an early birthday present for me because my birthday is on the 11th of October. And it's like Crusaders of the Lost Mark was actually a birthday present for me as well. Which is nice. The CMC got their cutie marks on my birthday. That, <laughs> that was awesome. Anyway, enough from me. I hope you liked the commentary. And there won't be another Heart Shell commentary until the weekend. That, I mean, the weekend after episode 4 airs. So I think I'm not quite sure when that is, really. But, yeah, you'll find out. I've been very consistent with my uploads. I've usually uploaded them every Sunday so far. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. This is MuseScript signing out. Bye!